Hello everybody, I hope you're all well, and I've got something really exciting to show you today. It's something that's been kind of floating behind my head for quite a few weeks now with all the videos that I've been releasing, and this shirt definitely ticks all of the boxes, with one of those being an actual box that it has arrived in. Now, in addition, it's arrived in this rather large packing box, and if possibly you might be able to pick out where it's come from based on the packaging tape. I have already sliced into it and cut into it just because it, there was so much on it, I didn't want to spend all my time rustling and cutting away. So without further ado, let's open up and see what we have going on. So, we have, firstly, a bunch of giant bubble wrap peanut things, and then we have the invoice which is only going to tell you how much money I've been spending and then finally oh no we've got a bit more of the invoicing and then we have oh we're still making a meal out of this oh yes there we go all right let's put this aside oh it's all on the floor great so there it is it's coming a box as I mentioned and this is a it's a very nice box very premium it's kind of like that waxy feel about it so it's very nice Anyway, on the front it says 75 Yarder, which is 1948 to 2023, with a manufacturer and a club logo, which team, if you can't see, is celebrating their 75 year anniversary. And then on the back we have some German text, which is always fun because I'm going to try and read what it says and um, always going to go wrong. Tradition hat nur dann einen sein, wenn der Wille zu noch größeren Taten vorhanden ist. And that's from Franz Kramer, who I believe was the first ever president of this particular club here. And I think effectively it means something like tradition is nothing unless you're able to try and go on to greater things or something to that effect, probably. I think that's generally what it says. But ignoring all the beautiful details, anything else on the sides? Nope. It's only fair that we open it up and see what it's like. Is it going to be straight there? Is it going to fall out? Am I going to be able to do this smoothly? Oh, no, we've got paper. Um, right, I'll just set this aside here. Get rid of that. I feel like... Okay, we're doing this angle, are we? Okay. Open it up. And there we go. How about that? And you know what? Something instantly... Is sh it's This is made out of cotton, which I didn't anticipate that. Okay, then. So if we get rid of the shirt... And also we have um, more detailing. It shows the history of the club there. I'm sure by now we're all familiar with who it is. Let's set this to the uh, side there. So let's go to the back of the shirt. This is, yeah, this is like cotton. Makes sense, I suppose. So it's white. There's no other design going on there, I don't think. Just the white. Oh, no, wait a minute. There is something on the back in white, which is the 18th of February 1948, which I can only imagine is probably the day that the club was founded. In fact, merged. I think there were two teams before it that sort of combined to become this team. Let's turn it around. Oh, we do have a tag, which is great. And there we go. Beautiful shirt. So it's white still. But it has a little bit of red. And what you probably did pick up is this lovely laced collar which is like a 50s styling. I have not had one of these. I did have that Strongest shirt, which um, ended up having a player on, so I sort of didn't really need that one. But this one has the first ever one, and it's beautiful. And also on the inside, it has the sort of another version of what was written on the back of the, um, of the box there, as long as also with the history of the club crests. Now, the sponsor is usually like a block one. I think it's a brand of supermarket chains based in the city. They've just gone for an outline of red, and then on the sleeve, it's similar for this one, where it's just an outline of green. And then the club crest is an older version of the club crest, which is beautiful. It looks very, very nice. And then the Hummel sort of a logo crest there is in white. It might be a little bit difficult to pick up. Similarly with the chevrons that are running down, as you would always expect. Very, very difficult to pick up, I would have thought, possibly there. This is a beautiful shirt. So, I shall dress the mannequin and come back to explain to you quite what this shirt is all about. Now then, there is a shirt, and I feel like this is the sort of shirt that's like the perfect sweet spot for you as collectors. I know some of you like the older shirts, some of you like the newer shirts. Well, this is a new shirt based on an older template and style, so if there's anything that's going to be sort of perfect for everybody, 
this could well be it. And probably I reckon most of you have already figured out who the team is, even if they are using slightly outdated symbols. It is, of course, SC Cohn, and it comes all the way from Germany. And this is their 75 year anniversary special shirts, which I did buy directly from the club store. They were selling it for about 90 euros, which roughly trades to about 80 pounds. Um, now, they currently have all of the sizes available on their store still. So if you are interested, that's where you could pick it up. But if you live in the UK, I would probably advise buying it from Subside Sports because they also have it for sale for £80, but the shipping will be cheaper and probably quicker if you buy it directly from them. If I had known they would have been getting some in, I would have bought it from there. But you never know, do you? These sort of things, if you want to be one of the first and possibly only people to get it, sometimes you end up paying just a little bit more for the privilege. Now, the team was founded in 1948, or should I say merged, and 1948 makes sense if this is a 75-year-old um, shirt. Now, the team is typically known as FC, which is just an abbreviation of the uh, of the club there, or known as the Geisbocken, or the Billy Goats, which is because of the goat which is present on the crest and also a real life goat that they have a as a mascot with I think is called hens or henners he seems to be quite interesting so that's a nice little fact for you there they have an actual goat which is the mascot now they are rivals with Borussia Mönchengladbach by Leverkusen and Fortuna Dusseldorf which are also local rivals and they do get to play most of those in the Bundesliga which is where they play and they currently sit in 12th place which is not amazing, especially considering last season they finished in 7th place, so things have dropped off a little bit, but there is still plenty of time to be playing. Now, historically, they have actually been okay in the Bundesliga, having won it twice, with most importantly, possibly, winning the inaugural Bundesliga in 63-64. In addition to that, they have won four German Cups, so historically they do have a little bit of silverware to their name, though it is kind of further back than where we are sitting right now. In fact, they were in the second division not too long ago, so it's they're a team that's probably maybe more happy with possibly getting into Europe and then maybe trying to push for honours, but most likely, with it being Germany, it will end up being by Munich. Though maybe not this year, though, but to Dortmund, I am filming this after we just knocked you out of the Champions League, so sorry, guys. Um, with regards to the, um, the shirt itself, it's pretty simple in its styling, which makes sense because a lot of the early shirts were very simple. It is cotton in styling and feel. These have all sort of been embroidered on, very, very professionally embroidered on, and then similar with the Hummel logo and crest there. On the inside, like we just mentioned, it has the um, little uh, motif which has that particular saying and the history of the crest. And I just, just, I just love this. The fact that I have one of these now is, uh, is, a, is a great little addition. I feel like I'm very, very close to owning all of the teams from Germany, or at least in the Bundesliga. Uh, the only one I don't really have is actually uh, Bayern Munich, which is quite hilarious, really. I think they're the biggest team I don't have a shirt for. They just haven't had anything spectacular that I really jumps out at me. I was briefly tempted by that um, stadium shirt they released at the beginning of this season, but uh, I haven't bought it, so quite clearly it's not that exciting to me. I think possibly maybe one more of the team that I need. Not sure which one it is on top of my head, though. But other than that, we're almost very, very close, and Germany, I think, is my second most populated um, sort of uh, country, anyway, for teams. But um, there's not really much else I have to say. It just kind of says itself. Yes, it's a little bit expensive, but uh, it's a special shirt. They actually did wear this shirt in a game against Antrak Frankfurt, and they won 3-0. So that's an even bigger bonus. It was one that was during the game. I am interested to know if it was the exact same one I have here, because I suppose the idea why cotton was sort of sort of uh, removed and then polyester was taken in favour was because it's lightweight. I can imagine if it started raining, this would get quite heavy quite quickly. But um, you know what? Maybe it was just for one game you can get away with it, and quite clearly they won 3-0, so it wasn't going to be that much of a hamstring for them. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think. If you're more interested in new shirts, more interested in old shirts, is this the sort of perfect compromise? And would you be wanting to add one to your collection? Anyway, um, as this video goes out on the Friday, tomorrow is the Retro Football Fair, which is going to be in Sheffield, obviously UK. 
Uh, we are actually forecast for some snow. As I sit here, I look out the window, we do have a little bit of snow on the ground. Tomorrow, as I'm filming, is um, I'm filming to, on Wednesday. Tomorrow is Thursday, is where we're meant to get the actual snow. So depending on how much we get, uh, possibly may struggle to get to the retro fair because the trains just don't seem to operate in the UK when anything happens other than rain. Um, so we'll see how it goes. If I do go, I will maybe just do some footage taking and some filming and if anybody's there and you see me just come and say hello and you might get to see what I've been buying and I'll be able to sort of see what you've been buying so we'll see how that goes anyway if you're not going to be there uh, have a great weekend whatever it is you are doing and I'll see you in the next video on Tuesday whatever that may well be thank you as always for watching goodbye